Oh yes, this is Maddie's guest house. Maddie Hatter, that is. There are several of us Maddies here in the village now, and I think I'm by far the best one, but... Hmm. But anyway. But what can I do for you? Oh, and you have a reservation with us. Well, let me look through this here. Mm -hmm. oh. Yes, there you are. Wonderful. So it looks like you'll be staying uh, a week here with us in Wonderland. Hmm? And where are you from? Ooh. Is it true that the clouds are made of marshmallows? Oh. oh, that is nonsense, isn't it? But that would be wonderful. I met a man once who was from a world where boats were made of chocolate and the sea was caramel. He showed me pictures even. I didn't believe it at first, of course, because I'm always a bit skeptical. But by George, when he whipped out those photographs, I was... Well, I was eating humble pie, wasn't I? Humble pie. Mm, that sounds delicious. I think I'll have that for dessert tonight. Well, it looks like you're in room 305. backwards and the other way around. Hmm, things are so topsy-turvy lately. Now it's 3.05, I'm certain of it. That's one of our best rooms. Yes, it overlooks the uh, Red Queen's Gardens, which are one of the focal points of our little town, I, I do believe. Mm -hmm. I actually have a copy of your itinerary here with me. It looks like you have quite an action-packed week, don't you? That's lovely. And have you ever been to Wonderland? Oh, you're going to have an absolutely awful time. That lovely time. Lovely. That sounds much better, doesn't it? Hmm. I'll have to jot that down. I make notes to myself all the time. So, um, let me just tell you a bit about the little bed and breakfast I've uh, created for myself here. And for you, of course, and anyone else who wants to pay a nightly rate. Um, we will be having dinner between the hours of 7 and 7.15 in the morning. Prompt. Hmm. Uh, and then a breakfast will be served between 11.45 and 11.50 and then we move on to lunch and that is between 10 and 10.05 at night. Yes. Well, things are served fresh here so they must be piping hot when I put them on your plate so I do have a rather narrow time window. But that's much better than Mrs. Cratchit's place down the street. She only gives you two minutes to eat your meal. I figured I'd give you a little bit longer of a stretch just to make sure there's proper digestion. So, uh, and uh, in your room I've just put fresh towels on the bed and uh, hung up the linens in the bathroom. Uh, anything else in my notes here that I feel you must be uh, cautioned about? Oh yes, uh, I must ask you not to walk on the ceiling of your room, uh, as that typically causes a bit of a disturbance to our other guests. Um, and also, uh, Please refrain from making any loud noises during the day. At night you can be as loud as you like and play loud music, that sort of thing. But during the day we ask that you uh, 
refrain from doing so. All right. Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. As I said, I have to keep very careful notes for myself. It's all in the details, you know. Now, there aren't any room keys or cards, anything of that nature. When you want to enter your room, uh, you simply knock three times and the door will open for you. It's an enchanted door, you see. Um, it will recognize you, so no one else can enter your room uh, for security reasons. Um, I've made it so that there aren't any magical loopholes on the doors, you see. Hmm. Also, if you'll be having any visitors um, while you're staying here with us, um, they will need to check in with me here at the front counter, and I will issue them one of these pink flamingo hats. It's just our way of telling the visitors from our uh, temporary residence. Yes, again, for security measures. And do you have a vehicle with you? Oh, no, I suppose it's rather hard to transport a car through the rabbit hole, isn't it? No hot air balloons or blimps, anything of that kind? No. All right. And do you have any food allergies? Mm, um, some of our meals include lilies and frog's breath and, um, let's see, um, chocolate-covered dandelion. We also have a more um, traditional menu, if you don't like all of those delicious delicacies, that is. All right. Be right down. And you'll be opting for our bland and boring menu. But I like to call it. Yeah, things like roast beef and potatoes and gravy and biscuits and those kinds of things. They tickle your fancy? All right. Well, if you do feel a bit adventurous when it comes to your taste buds, do let me know and I will switch you over to our mouth-watering menu. Now we also have a common area here on the ground floor uh, where you can come and read books and sit by the fire if you like and um, maybe watch the aquarium. We have a variety of delightful fish there. So relaxing, isn't it? And uh, you're in luck because this week we will be putting on our own rendition of Macbeth. Uh, me, in the starring role of course and uh, a variety of other local characters uh, playing some of the pivotal roles in the production. Oh yes, uh, last year we did Romeo and Juliet, um, and the year before we did our own version of The Wizard of Oz, where I played Toto. And let me, guys, at my notes for just a little bit longer to make sure there is absolutely nothing that I'm forgetting. Hmm. We still want none, after all. Yeah, that doesn't sound like it's the right saying. Horse of a different colour, maybe? The whole nine yards. No. None of those sound right. Oh, you know what I mean. No, I believe that's it. Now, just go up those stairs and be careful uh, to uh, trip on the third step. After all, what is a stay in Maddie Hatter's bed and breakfast without bruised shins? And uh, you'll make your way up there and uh, it will be on the third floor. Off to your right, left. No, off to your left. 
and almost positive. And uh, once again, just knock three times and it will know it's you. I've already programmed it into the magical system I have down here. Yes. Okay, before you go up there, can I have you just stick out your tongue for me? Yes. And uh, lick this envelope, please. Well, some bed and breakfasts have signatures uh, to sign in, but I prefer for people to lick envelopes. Yes. Well, <laughs> yes, I, I don't really have a reason for it. It's just quite fascinating, isn't it? Mm. All right. So off you go, and I hope you enjoy your stay here with me.